The Collapsing Empire by John Scalzi. This is 368 pages and 19 chapters. His most modern or recent books, uh, this is the first in the trilogy. So I saw it at the library and I, or I saw the sequel and the um, third book at the library, but I couldn't find the first. So I had to, had to buy it. I did get it used. And if I had to describe this, uh, it is the universe um, after Earth. Um, and humans are in space stations and uh, over planets that are incompatible. So if that's only one sentence, if that's all I get, really this group of humanity is called the interdependency and it's scheduled as an empire dynasty and really it's built upon the flow streams. This is like a super... I wouldn't call it a wormhole, um, but like a tunnel through space-time that it takes roughly three to four months to go between systems. But it's not faster than light, speed, the speed of light. Um, it, it just kind of dumps you out at, from one end to the other after that journey. But still, um, the ships that use them don't use faster than light travel. They just have a space-time bubble and then they enter the flow and then a few months later they pop out in the other system. So that's kind of how that works. There's a lot going on and that's really described in this book. So I won't go too deep into it, but uh, there's the habitats above the planets. There is one habitable planet. It is called End. I liked that because it is the end of the systems. It's the furthest away from the hub. The hub is the central location and where the empire and the dynasty is, the seat is. And so uh, really this starts off with a mutiny. That's what a way to start a book and you're on a ship. This is the epilogue or the, the beginning, the first chapter. And, you know, there's a mutiny, but it really, uh, enters in and sets in stone that there's two powers. There's the guilds and the church. And really you need some of those, the formal rule to mutiny or whatever, but also the structure for the entire known interdependency, galactic universe, whatever. It's built upon, there's the royal emperor, the dynasty, then there's the guilds and there's the church. And they're all kind of intermingled and one of the main characters is Cardinia, and she is the next in line to be Empress. It's a gender neutral term of emperor and empress with an X, <laughs> no S, X. Um, she is an outsider. She was born, uh, the current Emperor X is dying and she's his daughter, the official uh, brother who was groomed to be the next empress died and so she's next in line she doesn't want to be but she is and everybody kind of knows that things are <laughs> collapsing and specifically the flow streams so how they get to each of their worlds now um the next main character she's really in your face so we've got two um primary main characters both female kiva she is of house lagos she's part of that guild theirs is fruit each guild has like a monopoly on a certain trade good i believe hers is fruits or something so either way you meet her she is on a ship and she arrives at end and she's trying to unload her fruit cargo and it turns out that the civil war on end, they have quarantined and they're trying to extort money from Kiva. So you get all those dynamics and stuff and that really is part of the story building. You get the interactions of the different houses, the ships, and eventually the church with Cardinia and the Emperor. So um, this, does introduce a villain or uh, an antagonist, also female. Uh, so yeah, there's quite a few main characters here and they all, it starts off on end and then it eventually moves to hub. So it kind of sets the scene and then hub is where things happen. I really liked the memory room. That was such a cool idea. I, th I think it's a fun mesh of, you know, AI and like, having your memory live on after you. I thought that was really cool. Um, the opening scene with the mutiny, I really liked that, that the captain was creative enough to survive. 
Um, I I liked that Cardinia took the job, knowing that everything's going down the tubes and that the Empire's collapsing. So it takes a lot of courage, and she did a cool thing, stepping in, in you know, what could be <laughs> a terrible, terrible job. And she didn't want it to begin with, so... Last thing I liked was that this is after Earth. This is set in the future, and they something happened. The flow stream to Earth got cut off, and so really this is humanity post Earth. And I, I, this is a neat concept, and I, I enjoyed it. I thought it fit really well. Some things I didn't like: the intro with the mutiny was really cool, but we didn't see any of those characters again. I, I think they were referenced once or twice, but to me, I just. I like reading about characters and then hearing more about them. I just, I don't know, sometimes it bothers me when it's like, oh yeah, these, we're going to introduce 12 characters and then never talk about them again. So, <laughs> not a big deal, but it just bothered me a little bit. The unknowable flow, I get it. It's supposed to be math, you know, high order math and stuff. But, you know, there's this story arc that, or plot line that, you know, this is a piece of, a big piece of the universe that nobody really knows about and the reader included. So... Yeah, um, the Beanstalk was mentioned once briefly. If you've read any John Scalzi, uh, especially the Old Man's War series, which I highly recommend, it was a great series, then you know what they're talking about, but at the same time, <laughs> didn't really go into detail, which isn't a showstopper. It just was one of those things like, yeah, I know what that is, but anybody who didn't read Old Man's War <laughs> um, Last thing I didn't like was politics. I thought this was going to be a space adventure with a little bit of politics, but it was a space adventure with a lot of politics, and that's not a big deal. It was enjoyable. Uh, there was plenty of, not relief, but definitely distraction. Like, there was enough action and events to keep it going. It wasn't all political backstabbing, but yeah, uh, I did enjoy this book overall. I'm looking forward to the next two books. I gotta see how this wraps up, and yeah. The Collapsing Empire. Buy your books used when you can.